Hello students, continuing the series of complete chemistry for class 10th ICC, we are here with part 2 of this lecture. Today we are going to deal with the two kinds of cells that is electrochemical cell and electrolytic cell. But before proceeding in the chapter, we need to understand some basic terminologies which will help us to understand the concept of cell in a better way. Now starting with electrodes. Starting with electrodes, what are electrodes? Electrodes are plates. Electrodes are plates which can either be metallic plates or gas carbon rods or graphite rods. So starting with electro, uh, electrodes, electrodes are plates, are plates that can either be metallic plates metallic plates first or gas carbon rods gas carbon rods or graphite rods or graphite rods now electrodes is categorized further into two types based on their nature okay now electrodes is categorized electrodes are categorized further into two types that is anode anode and cathode cathode okay now let's understand the concept of electrodes if we consider it to be a vessel let's consider it to be a vessel and we have put here electrolyte we have put here electrolyte electrolyte light now we have kept two electrodes on either side we have put two electrodes on either side and these electrodes are connected with the battery this is connected with the battery let's consider this terminal has to be the negative terminal and this terminal of the battery has to be the positive terminal if we connect this positive terminal with this electrode this electrode becomes positive in nature and hence becomes an anode so we can say that the electrode which is connected to the positive side or positive terminal of the battery is called as anode anode and the terminal which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery is called as cathode so we can write here terminal or sorry electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and this is electrode connected to the positive side or positive terminal of the battery okay, so this is anode and this is cathode okay now coming to the basics of ions now uh, we are we will be switching to the basics of ions what are ions ions are charged species okay any element or any species which is carrying charge on itself is called as ion is called as an ion so based on this charge based on this charge ions what are ions ions are charged species are charged species correct based on its nature based on its charge or on its nature based on its charge ions can be categorized into two again that is anion anion and cation so what are anions any species carrying a negative charge on itself is called as anion species species carrying negative 
charge on itself example example there are numerous examples like cl minus carrying a negative charge and uh, hence becoming a anion hence becoming an anion then we have so4 2 minus then we have no3 nitrate minus okay cation just opposite to this species which are carrying positive charge on themselves are called as cation species carrying positive charge on themselves example is na plus then we have mg2 plus then we have um, al3 minus these all are positive species hence known as cations now most of the time students get confused with anion what is an anion what is an uh, cation uh, then electrodes uh, uh, uh like cathode anode so one thing needs to under we need to understand is anode is positive terminal is positive terminal but anion is negative species okay so most of the time people get confused that uh, starting with anode anode is positive so anion will be also positive in nature but this does not happen okay this is just vice versa if an anode is positive terminal then anion is a negative species just like that cathode for cathode cathode is a negative terminal is a negative terminal but cations cations are positive species just opposite this is just vice versa okay next uh like if we make up a setup of a cell we make up make a setup of a cell we have taken a battery here and to its negative side to its negative side is connected one electrode and to its positive side is connected another electrode so this becoming a ca anode sorry cathode is becoming a cathode since it is connected with the negative terminal of the battery this is becoming as anode since it is connected with the positive terminal of the battery now if we take an electrolyte here now if we take an electrolyte we are going to understand from this the nature of uh, ions okay so if we take an electrolyte if we take an electrolyte let's consider we are taking h2so4 okay now tell me when this will get dissociated we are going to provide its electricity uh, as we have already understand in the first lecture that electrolytes are what electrolytes are those substances which get dissociated into respective ions uh, when we are giving them electricity okay so after it is connected to the battery it is getting that electricity current electricity so it will get dissociated into h plus ion and so 4 2 minus okay so what will happen is since it got dissociated into 2 H plus and SO4 2 minus now tell me this H plus ion will migrate to anode or cathode this will definitely migrate to cathode why because as we know that negative charge sorry uh, 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 this positive charge will migrate to its opposite terminal it will op uh, migrate to its opposite terminal like we know that opposite charge attracts the concept is applicable for this also so this cathode sorry this cation will migrate to cathode and this anion will migrate to anode so we can say we can say we can conclude from here that anions migrate anions migrate to anode terminal to anode terminal and cations migrate to cathode terminal this migrate to cathode terminal okay now coming to the concept of reduction and oxidation before understanding the concept of cell or the setup of cell we need to understand the very it is the very i think it is the most important topic uh, reduction and oxidation so let's start with it reduction and oxidation reduction and oxidation 
फ्रॉम द टर्म इट सेल्फ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड ऑक्सीडेशन मीन्स कंबाइनिंग ऑफ ऑक्सीजन और वी कैन से एडिशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इफ वी आर एडिंग ऑक्सीजन टू सम कंपाउंड और सम एलिमेंट वी आर डूइंग ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन देर सो इन अ सिंपल बेसिस एडिशन एडिशन ऑफ ओ टू इज ऑक्सीडेशन लाइक इफ यू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक एन सिंपल एग्जाम्पल लाइक कार्बन वी आर एडिंग ओ टू टू दिस दिस बिकम सी ओ टू सो दिस इज एन ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन नाउ इफ वी आर एडिंग हाइड्रोजन टू एनी कंपाउंड और टू एनी एलिमेंट इट बिकम्स रिड्यूस्ड ओके सो डिडक्शन रिडक्शन इज वॉट एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन टू एनी कंपाउंड और एलिमेंट सो दिस बिकम्स एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन दिस बिकम्स रिडक्शन लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल इफ वी एड एच टू टू एन टू दिस बिकम्स अमोनिया दिस बिकम्स अमोनिया सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इज सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रिडक्शन अनदर कंसेप्ट ऑफ रिडक्शन एंड ऑक्सीडेशन इज रिडक्शन इज एडिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिडक्शन इज एडिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इफ वी आर एडिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन टू एनी स्पीसीज वी आर डूइंग रिडक्शन दे The main definition for this is the main definition for this is addition of addition of electrons is also reduction also reduction and just this just this opposite to this addition just opposite to this addition sorry removal of electrons removal of electrons removal of electrons removal of electrons is oxidation is oxidation so let's take an example example for reduction like see if we have n a positive species we are adding an electron to it this becomes n a as an whole atom so addition of electron is happening here so this reaction can be considered as to be a reduction reaction then we have mg 2 plus to nullify this positive charge we need two electrons and after gaining two electrons it becomes mg as an whole atom then we have an 3 plus it has to gain 3 electrons to become a neutral atom so this becomes a neutral atom just like that if we have sodium okay, and we are extracting an electron we are extracting an electron from it so this becomes na positive plus electron minus 1 this becomes a positive species then we can take the example of mg we have to extract two electrons from here so this becomes mg 2 plus 2 plus denotes that it is defi- deficient from two electrons it is deficient with two electrons so two electrons will get emit out then we can take the similar example of uh, aluminum we have to take out Three electrons from here, so this becomes Al three positive. This shows that it is deficient with three electrons, and three electrons are emitted out. So removal of electrons, removal of electrons is called as oxidation, and addition of electrons to any species is called as reduction. Okay. Now here we have few examples to understand reduction and oxidation in a better way. Now starting from here. oxidation if you could see the screen nicely then see this carbon is getting added to oxygen or we can say oxygen is getting added to carbon di uh, sorry uh, carbon and it becomes carbon dioxide so here oxidation is happening here again we can see that oxygen is getting added with uh, magnesium it becomes mgo magnesium oxide here again it becomes oxidized here we can say reduction reduction uh, c this s is donating its h 
to Cl. Hence, it becomes Cl becomes reduced. We can understand it nicely. Like whenever whenever the compound or the element getting added with hydrogen gets reduced, and the one who is donating its hydrogen to the other compound or to the other element is acting as an reducing agent okay what is an reducing agent based on this example we are going to understand oxidize oxidizing agents and reducing agents Oxid oxidizing agents are those agents or species that provides either oxygen or uh, takes uh, or uh, donates electrons or we can say uh, removes hydrogen oxidizing agents are those that provides oxygen or uh, provides electrons or takes out hydrogen from that compound or from that element so here we can say since sulfur it's is donating its hydrogen to chlorine it becomes a reducing agent that means it is exas it uh, stimulating it's stimulating hydro stimulating hydrogen to get added with cl and thus uh, making cl as to be a reduced compound here we can again see that nitrogen is donating its hydrogen to chlorine so it becomes a reducing agent since it is donating its hydrogen to other another compound or another species or element we can consider as to be a reducing agent so we can say reducing agents are those agents agents or species or species that are that is donating hydrogen or accepting electrons or or removing oxygen if any compound or any element is removing oxygen from there or adding hydrogen to that another compound becomes a reducing agent since it is donating its hydrogen to cl so it becomes a reducing agent uh, so okay this is this this needs to be noted very carefully that donation donating hydrogen or accepting electrons or removing oxygen just opposite to this oxidation oxidizing agents are those agents which are donating their oxygen which are donating their oxygen to some other species agents so we can write here agents or species that is either donating oxygen or donating electrons since we know that uh, oxidation is removal of electrons donating electrons or removing hydrogen or removing hydrogen so these things needs to be noted down very carefully for the exam point of view donating oxygen donating electrons or removing hydrogen from this example we can understand this is acting as an reducing agent this is acting as a reducing agent since it is donating its hydrogen to chlorine and thus become making it a reduced compound okay this making a reduced compound this also now here we have another set of examples let's solve and identify which of the following is a reducing agent and which of the following is an oxidation oxidizing agent so here if we look at the first reaction if we look at the first reaction the co the cu copper is donating its oxygen to h2 thus it is becoming it is acting as an oxidation uh, oxidizing agent because it is donating its oxygen to hydrogen so it is a oxy so here we can say cu is a oxidizing agent since it is donating its oxygen to hydrogen and itself becoming reduced it itself becoming reduced and cu becomes reduced how it is becoming reduced because it is losing its oxygen and becoming 
reduced and loss of oxygen is termed as reduction becomes reduced so from here we can conclude that uh, the agent or the species which acts as an oxidizing agent itself becomes reduced and vice versa happens with reducing agents the reducing agents uh, the species which acts as reducing agents itself become oxidized now here here again we have an, uh, another example here zinc is donating its oxygen to carbon uh, here zinc is uh, donating its oxygen to carbon so hen here it is acting as an oxidizing agent here it is acting as an oxidizing agent why because it is donating its oxygen to carbon and here itself becoming reduced itself becoming reduced so if if in the examination the question comes that identify the oxidizing agents and the reducing agent from the following equations one thing we need to understand and we need to notice whether the compound is donating its oxygen to another compound or another element then it becomes an oxidizing agent and if in case like in the previous slide like in the previous sli slide we can say that this sulfur was donating its hydrogen to chlorine so it is acting as a reducing agent the agent or we can say the species which is donating its hydrogen to another species or another compound is a reducing agent and itself becoming oxidized okay because removal of oxygen is oxidation so starting with the types of electro uh, cells types of cells cells are primarily of two types one is electrolytic cell electrolytic cell and another is electrochemical cell electrochemical cell to chemical cell starting with electrolytic cell now see if we make up a setup if we construct a setup for electrolytic cell we are taking electrolytic cell here let's take a vessel pouring electrolyte here electrolyte now putting two electrodes on either side putting two electrodes on either side and a battery is connected battery is connected its negative terminal is connected to this electrode hence making it has to be a cathode and this positive side of the terminal of the battery is connected to the uh, through this electrode hence making it as anode okay now when we are providing when we are providing uh, electricity to this when we are providing electricity to this this electrolyte becomes dissociated this electrolyte becomes dissociated that is it gets dissociated or segregated or separated into its individual ions okay uh, before starting with this i want to note one more thing here is this electrolytic cell this electrolytic cell converts this electrolytic cell converts electrical energy to chemical energy this electrolytic cell converts electrical energy to chemical energy and just vice versa here yeah? this electrochemical cell from the word itself we can derive that chemical means it converts it converts chemical energy to electrical energy to electrical energy okay so this electrolytic cell electrolytic cell converting electric and ener electrical energy to chemical energy and this electrochemical cell this chemical word from this word we can itself derive that it converts chemical energy to electrical energy now under your curriculum of 10th icc we are going to understand this electrolytic cell in a more wider way and also in uh, 
little bit about electrochemical cell as well okay starting from here so this battery uh, negative terminal is connected to this electrode hence making it as to be a cathode and this positive terminal is connected to this electrode hence making it as an anode now tell me when we are providing electricity to this electrolyte let's consider we have taken hcl we have taken hcl this hcl will get dissociated due to the presence of electricity because what are electrolytes electrolytes are those compound electrolytes means in the presence of electricity it gets lysis lysis means to break down to uh, become an individual ions to convert the compound into an individual ions so this becomes respective ions into h plus and cl minus okay so we have h plus and cl minus we have understand in the previous slide itself that the positive uh, or the cation will migrate to cathode uh, because uh, uh, this will get attracted to the uh, uh, opposite uh, yeah opposite charged terminal so this will migrate to cathode and the cl be being a negative charge will be uh, will uh, migrate to anode okay from here we can conclude a very big phenomena here we can see that going to the negative terminal it will gain an electron from here it will gain an electron since battery's negative terminal will provide electrons to this terminal to this electrode and when h plus ion will migrate to this electrode will gain an electron will gain an electron that means that means it will gain an electron and becomes h2 so we can conclude from here that here reduction is taking place here reduction is taking place why reduction is taking place because gain of electrons is happening here from here we can also see that cl will migrate to anode and it will lose its electrons to anode it will go to anode and it will lose its negative charge or we can say the electrons to anode hence oxidation is taking place how if cl is migrating to anode here it will lose one electron and become cl2 okay a neutral atom so loss of electrons is considered as to be a oxidation reaction oxidation reaction so one more point we can add to this difference is in anode in anode ox always oxidation oxidation reaction takes place and in case of cathode reduction takes place how by by acceptance acceptance of electrons and how oxidation is taking place here by donating donating electrons now coming to the electrolytic cell i hope you have got a good clarity regarding this let's connect to the, to the next uh, slide where we can see a prominent picture of an electrolytic cell here let's connect with the picture okay see here a battery is connected battery's positive terminal is connected to this electrode hence making it as anode and its negative terminal is connected to this electrode hence making it as a cathode now when we are providing electricity to an electrolytic solution this uh, this is considered to be a electrolytic tank solution of electrolyte let's consider we took here as hcl so from hcl we got h positive ions and cl negative ions so let's consider this as to be cl negative ions cl negative ions cl negative ions here h positive ions h positive ions and h positive ions from the picture we can get a very good clarity that the cl ions the uh, i mean the cl negative ions being a negative charge is migrating to anode is migrating to anode here it will lose its electron here it will lose an electron and become cl to a neutral atom again this uh, h plus this h plus cation will migrate to its opposite charge terminal that is cathode and here it will gain here it will gain an electron and become a 
negative uh, neutral entity that is h2 so we can conclude from here gaining of electron gaining of electrons will uh, demonstrate the process of reduction and uh, loss, uh, uh, loss of electrons in the anode terminal will hence demonstrate the process of oxidation 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 this was part 2 of this lecture in the next lecture we are going to deal with part 3 there we are going to understand the electrochemical series and how compounds or elect primarily the electrolytes gets dissociated and migrates to the respective electrodes thank you stay tuned with Vedaguru and keep preparing thank you Thank you.